50 unconscious people are standing in a circle. They are inside a dark room which is arranged in two concentric circles around a black dome. A woman suddenly wakes up and she begins to panic. She tries to call for others but receives no answer. Just as she takes a step further, an alarm goes off. She then tries to touch the person next to her to get his attention but the alarm goes off again. Another young man speaks up and tries to calm her down. He tells her to not move in panic, adding that someone can see them. With her panicking, another woman wakes up. The young man again reassures them of what he knows but she does not listen. When she steps out of her circle, a beam from the dome puts her to eternal sleep. She is eliminated immediately and her body is taken away quickly. The man and the women are petrified. A chime sound is played followed by a buzzer. The loud buzzer wakes everybody else. The hysteria in all the people's eyes is visibly seen. The young man, again, shouts for the people to calm down, but it all falls on deaf ears as he is ignored by most of them. Some people listen, others ignore the warnings and step out of the circle. As soon as they do, the beam eliminates them. Witnessing this, people are scared and shocked. They freeze. The chime sounds keep playing and the people look around as if they are scared of the unknown. A guy gets an orange circle mark on his palm before he is dragged away followed by silence. The young man attempts to calm others but the dome device eliminates him mid-sentence. After that, every two minutes, a person is eliminated. An Asian man realizes that the room's technology allows them to use their hand gesture to vote for who dies. The arrow on the floor shows who is to be eliminated next. Every person can see their white arrow on their floor and not others. Another woman realizes they are voting for the person to be eliminated and whoever gets the most votes. That person is eliminated in that round. For the next round, the group chooses to not vote. At the end of the round, the dome chooses its victim which startles everybody else as they did not expect it. After five people are eliminated from the group, a young college guy steps up and announces that they should eliminate older people to buy them time. There are around five to six older people which helps them to buy 10 to 12 minutes of time and discuss their further plans. At first, people disagreed with the idea but then reluctantly followed. The older victims of the group beg for their lives but are eliminated. While they are eliminated, the group tries to discuss where they are, how they got here, who has abducted them, and why. A man says he remembers he was stuck in traffic and was trying to get out of the city. He stepped outside of his vehicle as everybody was running and things went dark then. The other group members agree to it. The next time that man named Eric wakes up, he finds himself in a red room with other human bodies. The next victim in line tries to lie and says he had seen a wet black alien. The others do not pay him heed and believe he is lying to buy some time. He is eliminated too. The woman next in line says she is 52 and not older adding that she had cancer which is why her hair was white. The young college guy calls her out and tells the others to target her, as the next victim as cancer can come back. The other members feel offended and support the 52-year-old woman. A policeman in the group believes that the young college guy is a threat to everyone over the age of 35. They all decide to eliminate the young college guy next. He tries to defend himself but is executed. The group tries to figure out the situation. The cancer survivor suggests they all should talk to each other and figure out why they are chosen to be here. Some members believe it was a giant vacuum that brought them in here and that they are not handpicked, but the cancer woman still believes there is a hidden motive behind them being in the room. She suggests that everyone should try and talk to each other to make sense of the situation. A woman named Beth offers to be the first to begin the process. She starts to tell her life story to others in detail. At the end of it, she is eliminated. All the group members decide that no names are an easier way to communicate with each other after. Since everyone is scared, a man named Craig decides to go next. He points to a woman next to him and says the woman is his wife. He then asks if anyone else is related. Another man says he knows the person standing in front of him. A man identifies the doctor he was having an affair with. Craig pleads to everybody else in the group to not vote for his wife and instead vote for him to get eliminated. In that round, someone else is put to eternal sleep. It is now a man's turn. The man is Spanish and cannot understand anything unless someone translates it for him. A man believes the Spanish man entered the country illegally and the man answers in the affirmative. Some of the members believe it is wrong while others believe he is just a poor worker who wishes to have a good life for himself. In that round, the Spanish man thought he was the one who was going to get eliminated but was saved. A policeman then points at a tattooed guy who he believes is Raul. The policeman recognizes Raul as he had physically mistreated his girlfriend. Everyone asks him whether it is true or not and Raul agrees. He is eliminated by everyone else after a confrontation with the police officer. A woman suggests they should decide who is good and who is bad and accordingly eliminate people. She believes the whole process is to eliminate certain kinds of people from the world. The man next to her disagrees. A Muslim woman is eliminated in the round. A black man sarcastically comments that everyone should eliminate all black people. People around him start to argue with the black man as they believe nobody is a racist in there. He believes that the process turned out to be racist as there are few black people left. Arguments continue when the police officer intervenes, saying he thinks they deserve it. He starts to be racist. The group eliminates him. A US Marine comments that everybody should keep their prejudice out of it and work as a team. He thinks and believes that they are being studied. He then suggests they vote for themselves and have a tie. They try but apparently one cannot vote for themselves, and hence they decide to vote for the person on the right. 
Everybody agrees but it does not work as a random man is eliminated. They try it again. It's a tie between a pregnant woman and a man who has not said anything. Everybody votes for the man to be eliminated. The pregnant woman sobs. Everybody is confused about what happened. A man says he voted for the man who did not say anything. As he saw his vote for the pregnant woman and to save the woman, he voted for him. It is concluded that it is a game. Another man says it will be the girl or the pregnant lady that will win the game and if they eliminate them now, everybody else will get a better chance to live. The group starts to vote and again. There is a tie between an elderly Asian lady and the little girl. The group chooses to eliminate the elderly Asian woman. The group is torn as to who they should save, the pregnant woman or the little girl. The voting resumes and now the light falls on them along with the man between the duo. The man hysterically shouts to put them both to eternal sleep but is eliminated instead. A man asks whether someone wishes to volunteer and die. Nobody steps forward until an 18-year-old boy named Sean suggests he will volunteer. He does not want to harm or eliminate anybody and so he volunteers. A man disagrees with it and says he is just a kid. But the rich man followed by others believes he has volunteered and should be eliminated, as it is his decision. An older black man says he will volunteer. After the elimination of the black man, the group asks Sean again, he still agrees to volunteer. The group in that round eliminated him. The US Marine suddenly feels targeted as he had been to Afghanistan for the past two years. He states that he was there to save them all and that's why he shouldn't be the next target. People, again, ask for volunteers and an older lady agrees to volunteer. She cries and is put to eternal sleep. A minister believes God has a plan and is watching over the group. An atheist man starts to shout at the minister. In the round, there is a tie between that man and the woman who did not say anything. The man tries to defend himself while the woman sobs saying she hasn't spoken a word since the beginning. The woman is eliminated. The same man states that he knows the woman next to her. He believes she is a porn star and says that she is a mistress of a man called David who has a family. The woman refuses and the man is eliminated by the group. Someone from the group suggests that people should take into account if people have families or not. People without children should step forward and volunteer. The homophobic lawyer asks a boy cut-haired woman about herself and while they are talking, another woman is eliminated. The boy cut-haired woman says she is gay and is targeted by the man. The homophobic lawyer says the woman has sinned and isn't worth dying for. He is put to eternal rest. Nobody votes in the next round and the man and woman who knew each other choose to die together. After that, the woman who translates to the Spanish man is eliminated. Another tie ensues between the Spanish man and the little girl. The Spanish man sacrifices himself. U.S. Marine and the banker get into a dispute. The U.S. Marine feels the banker will eliminate the little girl to save himself and the banker, to defend himself, agrees. The group decides to create a schism. One block is led by Eric, U.S. Marine and cancer survivor. They believe that everyone should sacrifice themselves to save the pregnant woman and the little girl. On the other hand, the second block is led by a bearded man and the rich man. They believe that everyone is equal and no special privileges should be afforded. The banker is eliminated in the end. Everybody decides they should eliminate the one arm guy to even things out, as he is on Marine's side. He is eliminated too. At first, the husband-wife duo vote for the bearded man's block but are forced to change their decision in the end, when Eric and his block threaten to eliminate his wife. The US Marine now thinks the couple should be eliminated. The husband tells everyone to vote for the black guy. During interrogation, the man and the woman agree they faked being together to save each other. They both accuse each other of starting the whole fake relationship which results in the husband's elimination. The gay woman has her emotions played by a man who is trying to get her on the side of eliminating the pregnant lady and the child. In the end, there is a tie between five people. The US Marine, the lady with cancer, the accused adult movie star, and a random man die in that round. The bearded guy is saved by others in this round. He tries to get the pregnant lady to vote against the little girl but she disagrees. There are six people left after a man sacrifices himself but not before apologizing to the pregnant woman. Now, there is an even vote. People start to vote and a lady who lied about being married dies. The two guys that are left question the man that did not vote. They all decide to vote against him. The bearded guy agrees but soon realizes he is being played and is put to eternal sleep. The good guy Eric, the pregnant lady, the child, and the old man are left. They vote for the old man. Eric, the pregnant lady, and the child are left. The guy says that after he is gone, they both need to decide who will step forward or both will be eliminated. The little girl says she will step forward and the pregnant woman starts crying. Eric says it's very brave of her and that they both will step forward together. The voting beeper starts and he shouts at her to go. She follows and Eric chooses the pregnant lady to die. After doing so, he sighs in relief. The voting beeper goes off again and he has to choose to save himself or save the pregnant lady's unborn child. There is a tie and he chooses the baby to die. The screen goes black. Eric wakes up on concrete. He looks up to find spaceships in large numbers. He walks for a while and sees a group of people looking up at them. He looks at the huge spaceship in the sky. 